Hi everybody, I'm Joey and I have some fun val a Valentine treat box for you tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to just, I'm looking down at my iPad here to make sure I can see what you're seeing. It always takes Facebook a little bit to bring, bring me up. Let me get the sound off of my tag and sound off my computer so I, my brain isn't caught up with my mouth. So I'm to move my, my laptop out of the way here. And I'll, and then gotta get my iPad going so I can see you see what you're seeing and we're good to go okay hi everybody when you come on say hi tell me where you're from um, let me know how you're doing today even if you're watching on replay I always like to see how everybody's doing and what's going on in everybody's lives we're having a fairly nice day today it was up to a 39 degrees so we've had really really cold cold weather and so this is feels like it's really warm oh thank you thanks sue for sharing hi diane i see people are finding me now fran hello sue and chris hello 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 awesome okay let's just go ahead and get started i'm going to point you down and we're going to get going here hang on a second i'm going to click my camera um for a little tool that will make me go upside down and then you'll be right set up so here we go Hopefully that'll be fairly straight. It takes a minute for me to see what you're seeing. Okay, this is our fourth night of Love 3D projects. Um, I've, I'm doing seven of those. We've done three so far. This was our first night. This is a Ghirardelli holder. It has a Ghirardelli on the inside. It's now falling out, but it does usually stay in. This was our second night. This is also a Ghirardelli type holder they're nice candies to use because they go fairly flat and this one i'm actually planning to mail this is one that's going out to some of my customers and this is the one we made uh friday night and this is the jar punch if you didn't watch it this is the jar punch it's supposed to look like a jar with flowers coming up <laughs> and hearts in it um Anyway, those are the three we've made. If you missed those videos, they're all in my video section on my page. So you can just go in and find those if you'd like to. Hi, Kay. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very, very much. Tonight, we're going to use this bundle. Um, we're actually not going to use any of the stamps in here, but we are going to use, um, let's see, what stamps are we using? We're using... Uh, this one from love and happiness we're going to use the valentine greetings so this stamp set but then the punch that goes with the ladybug i know it's probably really glaring right now i'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit one more time hopefully that's a little better all right so let me go ahead and grab my bits Oh, thank you, Kay. You're so sweet. Alrighty, we're going to get going here. For this, I'm using a pair of, or a piece of designer series paper that's five and a half by five and a half. This is just going to be for our greeting. We're going to cut that down. Uh, let's go ahead and get this scored first. I'm going to grab my scoring tool. And this is the Sweet Conversations um, designer series series DSP. I'm going to get this on here. I raised my camera tonight. I hope it's going to be easier, a little easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, and ignore these are not, these are not the right score lines. So let's get those out of there so it's not confusing. If you make a lot of 3D projects, this scoring tool is well worth your investment. I use it for all my 3D projects. And I do make a lot, so it's more than paid back. It's investment. So we're going to score this five and a half piece at square piece at one and a fourth. Whoops, we find one and a fourth, one and a fourth. And I'm using the wider end instead of the skinny end because when using DSP, it can tear pretty easily. 
Then I'm gonna go to one and a half. Then I'm gonna go to three and three fourths. And then I'm gonna go to four, okay? All right, so there, that's all the scoring we need. We don't need any going down the other side of it. Okay, now we're ready. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and actually make, we'll set this aside and we'll make everything that's going on the tag first. And then we're ready to put it together. So, need to put my glasses back on. I noticed in my last two videos that my, um, my glasses, I usually do my videos in the day, but my glasses were, um, the ring light was glaring in them, so I, I thought at the very beginning I would take them off because when I'm talking to you, I don't really need to see details. I can see where my phone is and just chat for a few minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and this is the punch that accompanies the Hello Ladybug um, bundle. And it's a, it's a builder punch, meaning that you need more than one of these punches has two or more punches in it that will make one image or one one thing in this case a ladybug so i'm going to just cut punch out two of these out of basic black cardstock okay so that's got that done then get rid of some of this stuff Has anybody sent Valentine's cards yet? I have not sent mine. I'm usually a last minute Valentine card sender. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get our ladybug going. This is another piece of the designer series paper and I'm gonna take that punch again. And we're gonna do, let's see, we need two sets of wings because we're doing two ladybugs and I want the hearts to go backwards and I'll show you towards the back of the ladybug and I'll show you why in a moment but just punching out these now the stamps coordinate with this punch as well but if you're looking for fast and easy you might want to just punch instead of stamping and then punching because of course it does take a little bit more time whenever you can punch it's always good Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put our ladybugs together. We're going to put our wings on them. For that, I'm just going to grab my... Actually, yeah, no, I think I'm going to grab my Tombow liquid glue from this. Hi, Kathy. You're about... Oh, Kathy, good for you. You're, you're doing it the way it should be done, so they actually have plenty of time to get there. Um... I'm right. I'm right. You know, I have all my made. I just haven't put a, addressed them and put them in the mail. Okay, it's like so. Then we'll have a little bit more. Let's glue this guy down. So already we have two cute little ladybugs, and it didn't take very long at all. Then we're gonna grab. Um, I die cut two small hearts out of the sub, Supple Shimmer Specialty Paper. Um, hi, Margaret. Uh, let's see, what am I looking for here? I was going to show you the die. So, so I used the smallest heart die in the, um, the, what are these called? Sorry, my husband just turned on the TV and it's distracting me. Give it a whirl die. So there's this bigger heart and then a medium and a small one. I use this one. And just so you know, in this set of dies, there are clouds and stars as well. As well as a label. There's a label in here too. I probably could have used that tonight, but we're not using the label. But I honestly, I bought these, this set of labels um, or dies so that I would have one that uh, had hearts in it because before the January through June catalog came out. We did not have, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stamp first and then we'll put this together. We didn't have any hearts and I thought, I, I can't create without hearts because I put hearts on a lot of things. So I wanted to make sure I had some hearts at least. 
And I like the fact that that set of dies also has stars in it. We do have some big stars. Uh, we have some stars dies, but now we have some little ones too. So here we go. This is out of, as I said, the Love and Happiness set. Okay, stamp straight down. When you're stamping with um, any either red, sorry, can't talk red rubber or photopolymer, um, and the words are really the letters are really tiny like this. You don't want to put too much pressure on your stamp because it's really easy to have the stamp get blurry. Then have the image get blurry. So you just want to make sure you have even pressure but not super hard pressure and i'm just going to take my scissors and snip this off and that's really all we need for stamping we're ready to go ahead and assemble this so i'm going to go ahead now and put on my little um hearts with mini dimensionals and i'm putting them just right where the ladybug's wings come together like that. Hopefully you can see. And then another one here. Like so. And let's go ahead and put these on the tag with regular size dimensionals. I want the regular ones to give these guys a little bit more staying power. This is very fast and easy. This I, this tag I, I die cut from the um, Taylor made tags dies. So it has, it's all tags and it has like six dies, six or eight maybe dies in it that are all tags and all different sizes. So I'm going to get this guy just on kind of like this and then I'm going to fit this. I actually don't want it, this greeting. To, I noticed in my photo I took of the one at my sample I made that um, the greeting was covering up the ladybug's antennas and I don't want that so I'm going to be careful tonight to lift up those antennas so I don't cover, cover her up. Okay, kind of like that. Okay, then we've got our pattern paper and we have already scored it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and crease it. And then one of the things I really love about stamping up paper is that it's such a sturdy weight. You know, it's not cardstock, obviously, but it's much heavier paper. Um, than some I have purchased in the past, the way distant past in the craft fair or the craft store. Okay, now, I don't know, I had a little guess out earlier, uh, a little quiz on my on my Facebook page that said, what candy did I use? So I, I, I like to try and use candy that's just everyday candy that you actually might have at home in your pantry or your candy closet, wherever you keep candy. I'm also turning this, these flaps kind of want to go, they want to bend and I don't want them bending forward in my card, so I'm going to bend them back, kind of like this, that makes sense. I'm going to bend them under and then this side too. And then like that. So I'm going to just get some Tear and tape is probably the best thing to use here. Uh, you could use Tombow, but, and that would hold well too. But for the sake of video, I'm going to use tear and tape. Let's see, let's do tear and tape on this side. And I always try to make treat boxes of things um, I know I already said this, but candy that's readily available, if you don't have it at home, you can run to pretty much any store. Your grocery store, your um, Target, Walmart, anything that any of those stores will usually carry your everyday candy bars like this. Like Hershey's bars, you can get all year long. So I'm gonna just close this up. 
like so, and there we go. What's going on here? Okay, I think it's okay. My sample turned out really well. This one doesn't want to cooperate somehow, but that basically that's it. Then we're going to go ahead and take our ribbon and this is the real red linen, full linen ribbon that's called. I'm just gonna measure about how much I need for a bow and make a loop and then a loop. Hi Pam, oh thank you, thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. I really like this ribbon. We did have two red ribbons in the holiday catalog. We go from uh, famine to feast with the red ribbon. We didn't have any red ribbon before. Oh, we had the red satin ribbon in the annual catalog. It's not my favorite. It's kind of stiff and a little bit harder to tie. It's pretty because it's shiny and it catches the light, but um, I much prefer the the sheer ribbon we had in the holiday catalog, and I like this faux linen ribbon as well. He like both of those. They're easy to tie. They look really cute. Now, if you were really in a hurry, you could just wrap up your candy bars with some designer paper, and you could even just handwrite someone's names on it, put a bow around it, and you're good to go. We're gonna make ours a little more fancier because we're paper crafters, and that's just what we do. <laughs> we can't leave well enough alone. Okay, so we're gonna zhuzh this up. My iPad is starting to lose power again. I think I actually either need a new battery in my iPad or I need a new iPad because it's just not holding the charge. So I had to reach over and plug the power cord in. Okay, so there we've got this. And then for the tag, I'm just going to kind of stick this back in here so that it somewhat looks like that tag might be being held by the ribbon. And I really could have rung it through my tag. I guess I just am in the habit of not doing that, but we, we definitely could have. We could definitely do it like that. And then I'm just going to stick these guys on here. And that's how you, that's all there is to it. Pretty easy and fast. <laughs> so. Um, if you put in a $50 order between now and Friday using this host code, um, you will get the PDF with the instructions on the photos for all seven projects. So, uh, but just make sure you use the host code. If your order is over $150, um, don't use the host code. I'll, you'll still get everything. I'll send you everything. Um, because you'll get your own stamp and rewards. You'll get at least $15 in stamp and rewards for yourself. So these are our four projects we've made. Here's my sample, my two samples of the ladybugs. And then I've been, I'm coming on every night this week at 6.30 Central Time, except for, thank you, Kay. Hi, Christy, it's okay. Um, Except tomorrow night. So I won't be here tomorrow night. It's, it's my team meeting night. But I will be here then Wednesday through Friday and planning. So there's our Valentine's greetings. And now that I'm looking at this, it seems like this needs a little bit more. Needs some bling of some kind. So let's, I'm, gonna, I'm getting here and getting my red rhinestones. We use red rhinestones on the Friday night's project too. I don't know if you can see them. The red against the red but let's put a little bling on this oh thank you Christy so let's grab these I mean I know we have the pink hearts I wonder if the red the red sparkles will be too much uh, yeah it might be too much I don't know what do you think Red rhinestones or no? Here's with the red rhinestones. Here's, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's red and pink in the paper, but I'm not sure that maybe is an overkill. I don't know. For Valentine's Day, I think it's kind of hard to do overkill, but then at the same time, you don't want it to be 
Did she put everything on the kitchen sink, in the kitchen sink on it just because she could? Or what's the deal with that? What do you think? Red rhinestones or no? Kay says yes, it looks like. Anybody else have a, have a choice or a suggestion? Either no red rhinestones or red rhinestones. What do you think? There's hearts, that must mean there's more yeses. Christy, yes. Okay, there we go. We're getting the yeses coming in now. So let's just go ahead. And put a little one here. <laughs> oh, there's definitely a lot of sparkling going on in this card. One there. There we go. Now we've got a, everything's blinged up. There we go. And that's our fast and pants red rhinestones as well. Okay, we've got her on there. We've got them on. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to bring you back up to, to thank you and to say good night. And here we go. I hope I'll see you Wednesday night, same place, same time. Thanks so much for joining me. And thanks for commenting. Every time you comment and you share the video and, um, and you come on and watch, Facebook starts reading that and saying, oh, the, um, these people are enjoying what Joey's showing, so I'm going to show it to other people, which I really appreciate because my, um, my likes have gone up on my page and my following my page. If you haven't followed my page, uh, please like and follow my page. And if you'd like to be a part of my Creative Stampers group, it's Create with Joey Stampers group. Um, just look for that and ask to join and I'll let you in so you can share your projects and you can see other things that I share on there. All right, my friends, thank you. Have a great night and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.